I typically don't do too many product reviews, but I thought this one was worth a video. This is the Isotip Solder Pro 90 butane powered soldering iron. Now I've used some of these uh, cordless uh, soldering irons in the past and they're always a, a bit of a pain, but this one actually is, is an exception. It actually works quite well. Uh, the unit comes with uh, several different tips. This is the kind of fine uh, solder tip here for soldering uh, you know, on circuit boards or small items. It also comes along with a larger chisel tip, which would be good for soldering you know, larger connections, uh, you know, wire to wire connections or things like that. It comes with a hot knife that will be good to work with uh, thermoplastics and things like that. also comes with a, a hot air blower, which to me this is almost the most useful thing in here and we'll see why uh, in a little bit. And comes with a little bit of solder and a, uh, a solder sponge. Of course when I'm working on my bench I've got uh, some pretty nice solder stations that I'll use. Uh, so I wouldn't use something like this for doing my ordinary bench soldering. But oftentimes you might be away from your bench, maybe working in your car, or uh, maybe in the living room trying to repair a radio or a TV or something like that without having to drag it down to your bench. And those are the areas where soldering with this uh, can be really handy. So let's look at a couple of those tasks. Now one job that can certainly come up when working on a piece of equipment away from your bench could be having to resolder a wire onto one of these old terminal strips. Now for that job you wouldn't want to use the very small uh, soldering tip which is good for like circuit boards or smaller wires. We want to switch over to the large chisel tip. And that's uh, simple to do. Just unscrew the, uh, the tips here and we'll pull out the chisel tip. Uh, drop it in uh, to the shroud here and reattach it. Now one big improvement over this uh, newer uh, butane iron over the ones I've used in the past is lighting it. Uh, simple matter of turning the gas on here and pushing the igniter. And we can see immediately how it's lit. You can see how it's starting to glow orange. And it'll take about 20 seconds for this tip to get warm enough to, uh, to melt solder. Okay, so let's see how well this does soldering to this nice heavy lug. I'm just going to stick the wire in here and we'll get the uh, soldering iron up here and bring the solder in. Let's see how we do. Well, that certainly has no problem at all uh, wetting that solder uh, even to that nice heavy lug, so it's got a lot of power there. When you're using these things, one thing to watch out for is the exhaust hole here that's on one side of the tip. That exhausts some air that's pretty hot, so you want to kind of be sure that when you're using this that you aim that away from your circuit board and certainly away from you, because it does uh, exhaust uh, quite a bit of heat out of that exhaust hole. For this next job, I've switched over to the uh, smaller tip here. You might be working on a newer piece of equipment that has smaller contacts and things like that. So let's say we wanted to you know, reattach a wire to this little switch. Kind of bring that up here. Let's uh, do the soldering here real quick. All right, so we've got that soldered on there. Now, oftentimes, uh, once you've got that soldered on, you might want to apply a little bit of heat shrink tubing. Now one little uh, quick tip here, which is kind of nice, let's uh, slip that heat shrink tubing over there. We'll take advantage of that uh, hot exhaust hole and point the hot air at the heat shrink and boom. Using the same tool without having to get out the heat gun, you've soldered the, or soldered the wire on and applied the heat shrink in one fell swoop. Really nice uh, little extra feature that uh, you get with these butane irons. Now I've switched over to this heat blower tip. And I mentioned at the beginning that I thought this was one of the more useful accessories. Uh, I use a lot of heat shrink tubing when I'm assembling kits or little projects and, or doing repairs. And uh, you know, oftentimes I'll be doing it at the bench, so I'll use my bench soldering iron. But uh, shrinking the heat shrink is always you get a match or a candle or do something like that. This is really handy because it lights up in seconds and you can you know, uh, shrink your heat shrink tubing, uh, turn it off, put it down, and you're ready to go again. So uh, no, great, uh, great use for uh, just that, uh, that heat tip. But it also blows hot enough that you can do hot air, hot air soldering, hot air reflow soldering for you know, either part removal or part replacement. Let's take a look at that. This heat blower tip is great for removing uh, surface mount parts when you're doing repairs on uh, some of these newer boards here. Let's, uh, let's uh, heat up the uh, solder joints around this SOT23 style transistor here. And we'll get that, uh, reflow that solder, melt it, and uh, we'll be able to lift that part right off the board. Removing uh, even larger IC packages uh, is uh, pretty easy with uh, the hot air reflow. 
We use the same technique here to uh, heat up the solder joints on this little SO8 package device here. And we'll be able to lift it right up off the board. Of course, the same tool can be used when reassembling or replacing parts. Uh, oftentimes it will be handy to have solder paste. I don't have any solder paste here at the moment, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. But uh, laying down your solder paste, some flux, or maybe pre-tinning the leads with a little bit of a flux and uh, a little bit of solder. Lay the part in, and then just use the hot air to, again, melt that solder and uh, affix the part to the board. So as you can see, with uh, the, this heat flow tip, between using it for uh, heat shrink tubing as well as uh, working with uh, surface mount components here in a nice pair of tweezers. Uh, this is uh, you know, one of the more useful tips I think that uh, you get on this iron and since it's uh, so fast to turn on and light uh, it's uh, something that's very quick to pull out on your bench, use and then turn it off and put it away again of course once it cools down. Alright so there you have my little mini review of this Isotip Solder Pro 90 Again, I don't do too many reviews, but uh, such a handy little device, I thought it would be uh, a fun little video. Uh, if you buy one of these things, it won't come uh, with butane in it, so you need to take a trip down to your local uh, drugstore or smoke shop and pick up uh, some butane fuel, typically used for cigarette lighters and cigar lighters and all. And it's easy to, uh, to refill through the fitting uh, right here on the back of the unit. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.